This uh, video is going to show you how to do a street view textured model. It's a cool old fire station in Washington, D.C. Start by clicking on Add Location. Type in the address 439 New Jersey Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C. Then click Search. And you'll see a view of the top of the fire station. You need to adjust the box to surround the fire station. And then I press Command-1 to, I'm on a Mac, so I look at the top-down view. Very, very important on a geo model is to reset the axis using the axis tool. And once you reset the axis, you're going to draw lines to trace the top of the roof and make sure you see the red and green on the lines to indicate that they are on the axis, the red and the green axis that are parallel to uh, perpendicular to each other. Then you pull up the roof. It's about 40 feet tall, this fire station. It's just an estimate. Then right click on the front face and pick Add Photo Texture. Then you'll see a street view window and you just circle around until you see the fire station. You can open the uh, view box up so it's a little bigger. You'll get a better look at the front of the fire station. Then you take the pins and you put them very carefully in the corners of the building. This helps to uh, fix perspective problems in photos. So take your time and really adjust those pins. Then you can close that up and the street view has been applied to the front. And then I always check door frames to make sure that they are a reasonable size. The uh, fire door should be at least about 10 feet tall. And then I use the paint dropper tool to paint drop the satellite image photo onto the fire station. Now I'll make the little roof detail using push-pull to make the slanted front of that roof. And again, using the paint bucket tool with paint dropper mode applies the satellite picture as the roof picture. It, all, it always looks better when you do that. And fixing the back of it, same thing. Now I'm going to use a little trick where I can take um, the texture of a little bit of brick and make it a tiling texture. So I paint a rectangle on the front of a good brick area and then make, make that a unique texture and then use the paint dropper tool to just pick up that texture which can then be applied. It's like a paint chip. It can be applied to the sides and back of the building which are really tucked in next to other buildings so they're not very detailed in the street view photo. So sometimes you have to use those techniques to do that. And then I'm going to open up the layers panel and turn off the satellite, turn on the terrain to make sure that the building sits in the terrain. I use push-pull to pull it slightly down and then I erase the bottom face so that it's an empty shell. And then I like to put shadows on to make it look a little bit more realistic adjust it, turn it around, adjust the day and time until I'm satisfied with the, the way it looks. This helps to um, set up your model to look good in its thumbnail when you upload it to 3D Warehouse. Once that's done, I turn off the edges under View and Edge Styles and that's it.